Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and a very good morning to one and all. Hope everyone is doing well. Today shall we begin with uh, a fact. Do you know human consumes human consumes 560 liters of oxygen per day? 560 liters of oxygen per day. And the portable value of the cylinder uh, of 2.75 liters cost 6,500 rupees. And if we calculate that, we are consuming 13 lakhs of oxygen per day. Are we thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that? We should thankful for Allah for this. We don't know his endless benefits. Mashallah. And today, you know how people are on the roads for this oxygen. Ever we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that? Ever we thanked our God for this? No. So imagine. He provides every day 13 lakhs rupees of oxygen to us. And we have never thanked him. Let us today thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for providing us with this much of oxygen. So let us begin today. How I could do this? Oh my God, how I'm, I'm doing that? It is all because of my brain. How I calculate that all? How I came to know if we are consuming this much, so how much that cost? It is all because of the brain. Thanks to brain. Don't thank me for this information to my brain. This is because here I want to show today I hope you all understood that we are going to deal with the coordination that is the linking system. Coordination, the linking system. The linking system includes not only just nervous system but also endocrine system. Let us learn in detail about this brain, the complications of the brain and the linking system. Why I'm calling it as a linking system? Because brain is the supreme. It is the boss of our body. It is the boss of our body. Why I'm saying it is a boss of our body? The thinking we do, the judgment we do, and all the activities we are performing is because of the brain only. Exactly. That's the reason it is called as boss of the body. The heart beats. It is under the control of brain. I'm talking with you. Again, all my words are under the control of brain. Whatever you see, suppose, you, you know, in your childhood, your mom has shown you a beautiful rose flower. The information is stored in the brain. After a few years, when again the rose is in front of you, you say it is rose because your mom has already said and the information is stored in the brain. So how supreme, how powerful the brain is storing all the data from our childhood memories till we survive on this earth. We are able to, uh, you know, uh, recognize many things. We are able to store many things in our brain. So that's the reason brain is the complex organ of our body, which is controlling all the systems, all your physical, mental, physiological, and also your daily activities, whether they are voluntary or involuntary actions of our body. Voluntary that are under our control. I'm raising my hand. It is the voluntary activity. I'm talking to you. It is my voluntary uh, action. I'm writing something. It is my voluntary action. Involuntary actions are that, that are not under our control. If I ask you, hey, come on, stop, uh, you know, your heart for a while. Can you say your heart to stop for a while? No way. So it is involuntary action. And digestion process that is occurring and re release of enzymes, release of hormones, not under our control. There is no switch where we can ask hormones to stop for a while. Right, exactly. So all these are under the control of involuntary actions. So let us learn in detail about this. Yeah. So whenever all these responses, all this coordination under, you know, con you know goes with the help of response and stimuli. What is stimuli? Somebody pinched you. Somebody hit you. You touch a hot object. You touch a hot object. All these are, you know, nothing but the stimuli that is created on you. And you react. When you touch a hot object, oh, ouch, you remove your hand. So withdrawing your hand from a hot object is under the control of your response. Stimuli is touching the hot object. You are removing it and you are shouting something, ouch, nose, oh. That is your response. So here you can see uh, a person, a boy 
touching a hot object he don't know you know this is very hot he touched it and he respond ouch and he suddenly removed his hand from there example 2 you can see here example 2 stimulus and response stimulus and responses are not only just uh, physical activities even you smell something uh, you know like uh, you are smelling a very foul smell of the garbage or something like that and what you do you suddenly close your nose oh it's a bad smell right and you want to clear that garbage and you remove from that so this is also uh, one of the example for your response all these responses what you are seeing here are external responses all these are your external responses even internal responses are also created external responses are under the control of nervous system but as i said you internal responses are under the control of our endocrine system you are feeling hungry you are feeling thirsty all these are because of uh, you know fluctuation of the hormones that are created in our body so responses are of two types external responses externally that you get the stimuli and internal responses from internal stimuli and you respond towards it when you are feeling thirsty you drink water when you are feeling hungry you eat food so all the when you are scared you are scared of something and all so some of the responses are external and some of the responses are internal hope we are learning this right from our class 8 class 9 so uh, you know uh, just a small example i have taken here as it is connected with our coordination how uh, you know all the processes how brain is able to coordinate and all it is all because of a response and stimulus created in our body to carry that response and stimulus who is playing an important role here it is said that the nervous system the nervous system is made up of neurons or nerve cells neurons are the structural and functional unit of nervous system neurons are the structural and functional unit of nervous system you can see the structure of neuron here this is the structure of neuron a neuron consist of a cell body a long axon axon terminal or we can call it as nerve terminal with the synaptic knobs and centrally placed nucleus and many smaller projection you can see a long projection called as axon and smaller branched projections called as dendrites called as dendrites and here you have nasal granules surrounded the nasal granules you can see here and it is filled with cytoplasm and you can see the long projection that comes this long projection that comes from the cell body is nothing but the axon axon sometime is surrounded by a protective sheath called as myelin sheath called as myelin sheath and these myelin sheath are provided with schwann cells and the gap between is called as nodes of ranvier this is axon terminal very important figure for your class 10th and also for your class 9 axon so this is the structure of neuron you can see the structure in sheet the more the myelin sheath the more the myelinated of axons the axons that have myelin sheath are called as myelinated axons and sometimes even axons may not have this myelin sheath so they are called as unmyelinated axon and it is said that the more the myelinated axons in our body the more active we will be the more uh, you know hyper you know active we will be the messages can be transferred very quickly so myelin sheath is also one of the protective covering on the axon that is carrying the messages very quick or very fast so it activates it activates the response and stimulus the people who have uh, you know less myelinated axons may not be that active messages cannot be sent that active or their storing power their memory power their thinking and judgment may not be that much yeah this is the fact and you can see here one more picture i am showing you this is the microscopic view of this neurons how one neuron is connected with the 
other neuron and they generate electrical impulses they generate electrical impulses so axons may be myelinated and unmyelinated the impulses transmission is very faster so axon transmit the impulses from from cell body to the axon from axon to nerve terminal from nerve terminal to another neuron so yes beta here again you can see yes students here again one more neuron is attached and this neuron will have dendrites and all and that continues so one neuron attached with the other one neuron attached with the other we call it as nerve fibers so they are connected from brain to the body parts spinal cord to the body parts so what is this brain and spinal cord as they are connected with the nervous system let us learn uh, so let us detail, learn in the next class have